with a chance to spin to win for some fantastic prizes, including a trip to explore a volcano in Hawaii. On your marks, get ready. It's the game of life. <laughs> This is the Game of Life. I'm Frank Nicotero, and we've got two great families who are ready to have some amazing life adventures. But before they go anywhere, we gotta meet them. First up, Team Dean. Hi, I'm Dean, and I can make crepes from scratch. I'm Dominique, and I'm his older sister, and I was the high scorer on my basketball team this season. I'm Dan, and I'm the dad, and we love to travel as a family. Very nice, and what's your favorite crepe to make? Uh, I would have to say chocolate. Chocolate, very nice. And do you think you could stop me posting up this? Could you stop this move? No, I don't think, oh, okay, she did. All right, and they'll be playing against Team Emily. Hi, my name is Emily, and when I grow up, I want to be a teacher or a pediatrician. Hi, I'm Troy, I'm her brother, and I love to write poems. Hi, I'm the dad, Scott, and I love to coach baseball. All right, and Emily's already taller than me, so she already has grown up. All right, good luck to our great families. Now, whichever team has the most life points at the end of our game will get a chance to spin to win an awesome trip to explore a volcano in Hawaii. <laughs> right? All right, Team Dean, it's time for you to take a ride in the Game of Life car. Let's go. Here we go. All right. Dad, you were saying you guys love to travel? Well, this is the first step right here. You guys are gonna be driving on a road that could take you anywhere. Along the way, you're gonna be asked some questions. Every right answer earns you life points. Every wrong answer slows you down. And that's important, because your goal is to score as many life points, you know, before you run out of gas. Now, when you make a decision, all you'll do is turn that steering wheel into the direction you wanna go, right, Dean? Are you ready? Yeah! We wanna try to get to Hawaii, right? Yeah! yeah. All right, to start your journey in the game of life, you get to pick a career, but choose carefully, because whichever career you choose, the questions on the ride will be connected to that, okay? So, do you wanna be a surgeon or a superhero? What do you wanna be? Super superhero. superhero. I think superhero. Superhero. Exactly, superhero. who doesn't, right? Superhero. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. And, oh, you're at Miami Beach. There you go. I think I see some Miami dolphins in the water. All right, for your first question, for 100 life points, mask or cape? In The Incredibles, what accessory was not included in Mr. Incredibles' costume? Uh, oh, he didn't uh, have a cape. He, he didn't have a cape. Have a cape. 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 Oh, All right, if it's cape, you're on the board with 100 life points. Are they right? Yes, they are. Way to start it off, guys. Nice job. Keep it low. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> All right, you're coming up on your 200 life point question. Wonder Woman, Superman. Which superhero came to Earth from another planet? Superman. 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 All right. If they're right, it's 200 more life points. They're right. There you go. Of course, Superman came from Krypton. All the way over that tire. Whoa. Tucked on that one. Good job, guys. All right, you're two for two. Here, for 300 life points. His eyes, his hands. Where do Iron Man's repulsor rays shoot out from? Oh my gosh, his I know this. Are you sure it's his hand? His Are you hands. sure? His hands. Yeah, okay. His hands. His hands. All right, you're going with hands. Can we keep this a perfect game? Yes, we can. Up to 600 life points. No time to stop at that carnival. Keep going. We're going for life points. All right, here we go, guys, for 400 life points. Take you up to 1,000. Wolverine Beast. Which character appeared in all of the X-Men movies? Wolverine. 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 If it's Wolverine, we got a perfect four for four going here. Yeah. Wow, you got it. Nice job. You guys are up to 1,000 life points. Oh, you ran out of gas, but Team Dean, you couldn't have done that any better, buddy. Nice job. High fives all around. Four for four, a perfect score. 1,000 life points. Way to go, guys. Can't do it any better than that. But now it's time for Team Emily's first adventure. Let's buckle up, Emily. Get down here. All right, guys. Man, they put a little pressure on you there, Emily. They got a perfect score. Remember, end of the show, one of you is going to spin to win. Trip to Hawaii. Now, you guys heard everything I told them, the rules. Yes. yes. All right, well, the same goes for you. Now, before you hit the road, you got to choose a career. So, do you want to be a surgeon or a NASCAR driver? Oh, oh, a surgeon. Yeah, surgeon. I don't know a lot about Yeah, surgeon. Uh, surgeon. Surgeon. Emily wants to be a doctor. All right, here we go. Oh. Hold on, guys. Oh, down on the fire. 
on your first tape. No. You see it count. No. <laughs> nice job. All right. For 100 life points, barbers, chefs. For 600 years in Europe, what profession also practiced surgery? I think. I, I don't think, know. I would think I barber. I say barber. Barbers? Like barber. Barbers. They're going with barbers for 100 life points. Are they right? That is a correct answer. All right, guys, you're on the board. Oh, there's some corn. If you build it, they will come. Oh! Tractor, that crazy Bob the Farmer, I tell you. All right, for 200 life points, pectoralis major, medulla oblongata. If a surgeon were operating on your brain, she might be correcting a problem with your what? Well, I know what's your medulla oblongata because your pectorals are your chest muscles. OK, yeah. Medulla oblongata. All right. For 200 points, are they right? All right, we got a focus right here, too. All right. Oh, we're going through a tree. Going through a sequoia. Look out. All right, guys, let's try to keep that perfect game going. Catch Team Bean for 300 life points. Your pipes and funnels, your rods and cones. What would an eye surgeon be most interested in? Your rods and cones, because I study this in science. OK, we'll okay, go with your rods and, and cones. Your rods and cones. All right, she studied it in science. She might have remembered this correctly. Is she right? That's right. All right, Team Emily, you got 600 life points. Let's try to tie this game up. Oh, we got to go past you guys. Come on, this is for 400 life points. AB, oh, you ran out of gas. All right, you guys got a perfect score, but on a couple of those questions, took you a few extra seconds. But guess what? We got a great game going here. Team Emily, you got 600 life points. Pretty good. But Team Dean, with that 1,000 life points and that perfect score, they're in the lead. And the family that's ahead at the end of our next round is going to spin to win something good. So stay tuned. The Game of Life goes on. All right, guys. Perfect score. Right now, Team Dean has 1,000 life points. Team Emily has 600 life points. Now, each of you get to go on one more ride in the Game of Life car and check this out. The team with the most points at the end of this adventure is heading to the spinner and spinning to win a bonus prize. Now, Team Dean, you went first last time, so you know what? Team Emily, now it's your turn to go first. Let's hop in the Game of Life car. Here we go. Now, you guys are trailing right now by 400 points, but guess what? On this adventure, life points are doubled for each correct answer. And one special question could get you some extra gas, which is extra important, because it could get you some more life points. But first, you've got to decide on your next adventure. So do you want to write a hit song or adopt a dolphin? Write a hit song. Write a hit song. Write a hit song. Write a hit song. All right, here we go. You chose write a hit song, so get ready for some music questions. You're behind Team Dean right now by 400 points. Let's Google catch up here. OK, whoa. All right, for 200 life points, new kids on the block, Black Eyed Peas. Before becoming a number one performer, Lady Gaga's first singing tour was opening for what group? Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas. All right, if it's Black Eyed Peas, you got 200 life points. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry, that's going to cost you five seconds. It was actually the new kids on the block, or MKTOB, as I like to call them. All right. Oh, my god, are you ready for this? Nice landing. All right, good job. All right, let's try to tie it up here with your 400-life point question. The Beatles, Mariah Carey. Over the course of their careers, whose songs have spent more weeks at number one on Billboard's Hot 100 chart? Uh, Mariah Carey. Mariah, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. Sure. Mariah, Mariah Carey. Carey. Mariah Dad's Carey. going for Mariah Carey. Locking in. Do we have a tie game right here with Mariah Carey? We do. Yeah. Oh, OK. Under one. That means you're coming up on your extra gas question. If you make the right choice here, you'll earn extra gas and extend your ride for 600 life points. Elvis Presley, David Bowie. When number one hit maker Madonna was 15, she was grounded for an entire summer for sneaking out to see what performer? Um, uh, it has to be David Bowie. Yeah, because okay. Elvis Presley was long. David Bowie. David Bowie. David Bowie. All right, David Bowie. If it's right, you get extra gas and 600 life points. It's David Bowie. Nice job. You got the extra gas. Extending your ride and look at this beautiful undersea world we're in. All right, for 800 life points, 
ABBA Queen. The hit songs of which 1970s band inspired a Broadway show and a 2008 film? What? Just say ABBA. I'm ABBA, guessing. ABBA, yeah, ABBA. I'm ABBA. guessing. All right, you're guessing ABBA. Is this going to pay off for 800 life points? They did. The musical was Mamma Mia. Nice job, Dad. Emily, get your fog lights on, baby. Wait, last question. All right, for a thousand life points. Oh, you ran out of gas. But well, what a great ride, you guys. Okay, come on back home. Wow, great comeback, team Emily. You're up to 2,400 life points. You are now in the lead, but now it's time to see how Team Dean will do on their second adventure. Let's go, guys. Try to get that lead back, Dean. All right, good work, team Emily. Nice job. Now remember, as you get into the Game of Life car, whoever is ahead after this ride is going to win a bonus prize. Okay, Team Dean, for your next adventure, do you want to adopt a dolphin or move into the White House? What do you say? White House. Move into the White House. White House. All right, we're heading to the White House. Here we go. Now remember, you guys were perfect last time out with 1,000 points, but you now trail by 1,400. So let's get some life points, guys. For 200 life points, $5 bill, $20 bill. The White House can be found on the back of what denomination of US paper money? Yeah, $5. $5. $5. $5. All right, $5 bill. They got the perfect game still going. Let's find out. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. That's going to cost you five seconds. It's actually the Lincoln Memorial is on the $5 bill. All right, so let's get back. Oh, watch those pipes. I don't know why they laid them right across the road like that. Kind of silly. <laughs> All right, let's get you back on track with this 400 life point question. Bo Luke, what is the name of the current White House family's dog? Uh, Bo, I think. Bo? Bo? Okay, Bo. 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 Bo it is. Dean thinks Bo. Is he right for 400 life points? Yes, he is. It's the Obama's Portuguese water dog, Bo. Nice work, Dean. All right, oh, that means you're coming up to your extra gas question. If you make the right choice here, you'll earn extra gas and extend your ride. For 600 life points and extra gas, 3594. How many bathrooms does the White House have? I, I say it's going to be the higher. Go with the higher number. 94. 94. 94. That's a lot of bathrooms. Dad's going with 94. Oh, Dad, that's going to cost you some time. It's actually 35 bathrooms. All right, guys, come on. This one's worth 800 life points. You need this one. George Washington, James Madison. Who was the only US president not to live in the White House? Oh, you ran out of gas. You got George Washington a little late, guys. But that would have been the right answer. But I'm sorry, you didn't get it. But you guys got 400 life points. So right now, your total is 1,400 life points. But Team Emily has 2,400 life points, which means, Team Emily, you're going to spin to win a bonus prize. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Go, go, go. There it is, the Game of Life Spinner. Ten numbers up there, guys. And if you can correctly predict whether the spinner will land on an odd or even number, you're going to win a great prize. Do you want to know what it is? Yes. Oh, it's just a limo ride home from school for a week? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, so what will it be, odd or even? Well, it starts on an odd. Right. So. I think it should end on an odd, yeah. too. Odd. Odd. We're going odds? We're going odds. All right, we're locking in with the odds. Yes. All right, we're locked in with the odd numbers. Right. I want you guys to win this limo ride home from school for a week it. so oh, badly. So here we go. Spin to win. Let's do it. Come on, Emily. Give it a good one. All right, back over here. Back over here. Come over here. All right, all right. Limo, limo, odd. Limo, 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 limo. Slowing down. All right. Get to that three. Get to the three. Get to the three. Come on, give it go. Spinner, one of you is going to spin to win a trip to explore a volcano in Hawaii. Right here on the Game of Life. Congratulations! And right now, Team Dean has 1,400 life points. Team Emily has 2,400 life points. 
All right, guys, now listen, it's time to be Game of Life entrepreneurs as you open your own lemonade stand. You need to set up as many cups of refreshing lemonade as you can in 60 seconds. Here's how it works. Player one will pull a lemon off the tree, then toss it to player two who has to catch it on the fly, place it in the juicer, and juice it into a cup. Player three will pick up the cup, place it on a tray, and take it over to our lemonade stand where they'll set it down. For every properly placed cup of lemonade, 250 life points, which is super important, because whoever has the most points at the end of this life adventure is gonna get a chance to spin to win a trip to explore a volcano in Hawaii. So, are you guys ready? Let's do it, get to your spots. All right, good luck, everybody. Okay, are you guys ready? All right, you got 60 seconds, go! Come on, guys. All right, good lemon receiving. Lemonade coming out. Good. All right. All right, right now. Good job, guys. Good job. Take it, put one under. Good job. Yeah. Lots of lemon. Oh, the dad's attention. There we go. All the catches have gone very cleanly. We're juicing lemons. Nice job, guys. One hand, one hand with the tray. Doing great. All right, guys, this is close. You guys are both like machines right now. All I know is I'm getting really thirsty. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, 10 seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. No, those last two don't count. Sorry, those last ones don't count. Set them down. Come on over. Come on over, guys. Nice work. All right, let's check the scores. Team D. You got seven properly placed glasses of lemonade. That's good for 1,750 points. You're up to 3,150. That gives you the lead. But Team Emily got seven. That gives them the total of 4,150 points. Oh, congratulations. Awesome job. Uh, Team Dean, I'm sorry you guys didn't win, but we got a really cool prize for you guys, OK? Thanks for being on the show. Round of applause for Team Dean. When we return, Team Emily will get a chance to spin the famous Game of Life spinner and try to win a trip to explore a volcano in Hawaii. You don't want to miss it. Congrats, Team Emily. But you've got a big decision to make. You have to decide whether the Game of Life spinner will land on an odd or an even number. And if you're right, you'll win a trip to explore a volcano in Hawaii. Oh <laughs> you guys have never been to Hawaii, right? Oh. All right. But I'm going to give you a chance to earn even more numbers on the spinner. Now, during the break, we asked you each to make a life decision. And for every time you correctly predict how your family member answered, you'll get another number on the spinner. Okay, Emily, you're up first, stand over here, right there. All right, guys, Dad and Troy. Uh, we had that surgeon adventure at the beginning of the show, it was a lot of fun. Emily wants to be a doctor, so I asked her, would you rather be a heart surgeon or a plastic surgeon? What do you think she said, guys? Well, Talk it out. A heart surgeon, because she doesn't want to do all that. You want to be a plastic surgeon. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you want to be, what do you think your sister said? I say heart surgeon. Heart surgeon. Okay, heart surgeon. Did she say heart surgeon? Oh, she said plastic surgeon. Okay, don't worry about it, Emily. Get back over here. All right, Dad, come on over. Let's try to get another number here for the spinner. Okay, remember when we uh, we wrote a hit song adventure? That was fun, the music adventure. Uh, your dad's a big music fan. We asked him, would you rather write a hit song for Lady Gaga or Lady Antebellum? Oh, what do you guys think? He doesn't know Lady Antebellum. Yeah, I don't really um, think so. So probably, probably Lady Gaga because um, yeah, she's pretty popular. What do you Lady, think? Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Well, if he's never heard of Lady Antebellum, you hope it's Lady yeah. Gaga. Did he say Lady Gaga? <laughs> yes, he did! Nice job! All right, last but not least, Troy, come on over here. We got one extra number for the spinner, but let's try to get one more, guys. Now, at the end there, we had the lemonade stand. We had a lot of fun. So if he could start his own business, I asked him, would it be a restaurant or a pet store? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? It's just restaurant. I, I think restaurant. Because he loves pasta. Pa yeah, pasta. You want to go with that? Oh, yeah, All right, yeah. for one extra restaurant. number on the spinner, did he say restaurant? 
Yes, he did. All right, guys, we got Let's go up to the spinner. Come on, here we go. All right. Oh my gosh, guys. All right. First things first. Do you think the spinner is going to land on an odd or an even number? Talk it out. Well, odd didn't work for us last time, so it's got to be two for two. Let's go with odd yeah, again. Odd. It worked last odd. time. Let's You're go going with odd? odd? All right, we're locking in with odd. odd. All right, you're locked in with those odd numbers, but remember, you have two more numbers to pick. So what do you think? Two. Emily's going with two, Troy? Troy? I think uh, two, four. I, uh, <laughs> six. All right, two and six. We're locking in two and six. Yeah. All right, now you guys already have won the limo ride home from school Yay. for a week, but let's go to Hawaii and explore a volcano. Yay. Good luck, Emily, give it a spin to win. Let's do it. Get past that four and slow down. Get past the four and slow down. Get past the four and slow down. You won! Oh, and Volcano Adventure! You're gonna spend a day exploring volcanoes and lava tubes as you bask in the splendor of the big island of Hawaii at the oceanfront Waikoloa Beach Marriott Resort and Spa, offering contemporary guest rooms, Royal Luau, and the world-renowned Mandara Spa. school for a week and the trip to Hawaii. Next week, two more families will take an adventure of a lifetime here on The Game of Life. I know you'll want to see that. Hopefully they can do as good as Team Emily. Hawaii, you